Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd, here at the inaugural Catastrophic Con at Reed Castle uh, in Purchase, New York. We are having a great time at this first convention, and uh, we're having a blast today talking to a lot of artists, uh, vendors, celebrity guests, and I have the absolute pleasure of sitting here with... From Nightmare on Elm Street 5, Erica Anderson. Erica, yes. how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm having a blast. Great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course. <laughs> so how's this uh, event been for you it's been so good. far? It's good. I mean, first of all, I don't think I've ever done a convention in such a beautiful location. It is, it's right? It's fantastic. <laughs> and it's very gothy, so it's kind of perfect for this. Um, usually it's, you know, a high school gymnasium <laughs> or a police station. A big expo or center or something like that. Hotel yeah. ballroom. Yeah, but this is lovely this is great yeah it is a good atmosphere for yeah. a con i must yeah. i must say and everyone's been very welcoming and kind so that's what you want cool now i did i sat in on your panel a little while ago and you said what i was thinking that you probably do have the grossest death <laughs> in true. Nightmare on That's Elm true. Street. Yes, it is. It's pretty horrifying. So four hours to set that up. Yeah, huh. they did. Well, I think, you know, it's funny because when Stephen asked me if I was claustrophobic in the makeup, I was not. But to get that makeup done, I had to do, like, plaster casts of my face. And when they do that, you've got two straws up your nose and you are completely sealed off. Mm. So that was a little claustrophobic because you have to wait for that stuff to set and then that was claustrophobic. The actual makeup itself was fine because everything was, you know, from my nose down. So it was fine. But it did take four hours to do the makeup. And what a lot of people don't realize is at the end of the day when they call a wrap, you're not done. You have to go to the makeup trailer and get all that stuff taken off. off. So my days were very long that week. But um, like I said in the panel, I was so happy to do it because it was so much fun. <laughs> it, it is. I've done a couple of indie films, right, where I, like in one of them, I took like a pipe to the head and that was a lot of fun. So yeah. I get it. Yeah. Like those makeup effects. Yeah, it's a and blast. I like getting killed in movies. It's <laughs> happened to me a bunch of times. And for some reason, people seem to love it. So yeah. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I've died a few times. But that, that was definitely one for the books. <laughs> it was. Yeah. It was. Um, so, does it ever surprise you that after all this time, you know, uh, it's a few decades now, uh, the, the Nightmare series, that people are still so invested in it to the point where they come up and line up I am, to meet you? <laughs> I am completely stunned. I can't. I mean, if you told me back then that this was going to happen, I wouldn't have believed you. But I'm thrilled about it because, you know, thank God I was in this fantastic film that it's a big franchise and they had a lot of them and there's so many fans that love the Nightmare series. So it just, somehow these conventions have breathed new life into it and it's great to meet the fans and their enthusiasm kind of keeps me going. Mm. You know, it's really, really lovely to see. So to be appreciated for something that you did that long ago is really amazing. Yeah, and, and I, I myself, just as a fan, have watched can the convention scene grow mm -hmm. from just a handful of people sitting in an obscure room somewhere right. to now they are big business. And I agree with you. It really has breathed oh, new wow. life. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It. And I've said it before. I say it all the time at these conventions, but horror fans are so over the top, 100% loyal and dedicated to everything that we do that it's it's shocking, actually. <laughs> you know, it's very rewarding and it's, it's shocking. And I'm I'm always happy to come to these because it just makes me feel good, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah, and it, you know, and just like again, like, speaking as a fan, it's a thrill for me too, like to even sit here with you. Aww. There's a little voice in my head <laughs> saying, you know, this is really cool. Because, <laughs> you know, so growing nice. up, I'm a child of the 80s. Yeah. So I've, you know, lived all these films and I never dreamed 
oh my god someday I'll meet yeah. at all the people yeah. you know you know isn't that funny it, it is yeah. you know who the thunk I've met people that can quote my lines that I don't even remember they know my character better than I do now because you know it was a long time sure. ago but it's it's always very surprising to me and you know the sweetest guy came up to me today and I'd met him previously at a con and I did a very little known film called Shadows of the Past that I shot in Canada and it's always been hard to find because it was a Canadian production and it never made it to the US um, I have it on VHS and I haven't watched it in years because it's on VHS <laughs> right right <laughs> he got a copy of it and transferred it to a DVD and brought it to me as a gift oh, today. That's I not, mean stuff like yeah. that happens and it's just amazing you know it's so great so that is a great story yeah. <laughs> that is really he's cool he's the sweetest guy <laughs> his name is Jude DeLuca <laughs> look at that shout out to Jude good on you man that was yeah. that was great I will never be able to top that it's like so in anything great. I do it's for anybody so great and so. you know my husband has never seen the film so now I can show it to him that's great yeah um, what uh, what do you think it is about the Nightmare on Elm Street series that has given it such longevity? Because it is one of like the Mount Rushmore of horror franchises. It is, right? yeah. I would say that it all goes back to Freddy Krueger. <laughs> it's always Freddy Krueger. He's such a good villain. Mm. You know, he he started out really really scary. Then he became kind of funny. But I think everybody kind of knows what they're going to get with him. You know, it's always the one-liners, and he's always going to kill somebody. Right. <laughs> and you can rely on him for those things. And I just think when you find a good villain like that, you know, they can just keep it going and going, and fans just really love that, and they can't get enough. So I would credit Robert Englund. Mm. So now you mentioned, you know, other things that you've done. You were also in Twin Peaks, mm -hmm. which is also be, be, became like a very, I don't know if cult is the right word. I think cult but, is yeah, the right, right word. But, yeah. but a very strong and passionate yeah. fan base. Yeah, another one. Exactly. <laughs> and that was absolutely thrilling. That that job was just fantastic. We had so much fun. You know, it, we got a little out of hand, I think, with the camp. I think maybe a little at too some, much. Yeah, I agree at some you know, point. It, because yeah, I, I, I actually, yeah. I had a conversation with David Lynch about it after we shot it. And the vibe that I got from him was that he would have done it in a different way. Mm. And you know the way he, he the way that he directs people, they're, they don't go for the cheese. They don't go for the camp. They just play it straight and it's funny. So I, I think it might have gone on a little longer had we done it in a different way. Maybe that wasn't quite his vision. But nonetheless, we had a blast doing it. And I've got very fond memories of shooting in that fantastic Frank Lloyd Wright house. Mm. I mean, so many great things about that day, you know. It was really fantastic. I was watching something the other day, an older movie, and I saw the guy who played my dad in Invitation to Love, and he played a judge. And I was like, wait, that's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's funny. That, I love hearing stories like yeah. that of people talking about being a fan. Like, So when, you, when you're at conventions, do you ever have like a fangirl moment where there's someone you yourself have wanted to meet? Yeah, actually, a <laughs> long time ago, I met Barbara Steele. Ooh, nice. That was okay. such a great... I was nervous, you know? I was nervous because I knew she was going to be doing this convention, and when I saw her walk through the room, I was kind of scared of her, and I had butterflies, and yeah, I never let her know that, but it was thrilling for me to actually see her in person and, and meet her, so... That's cool. I love hearing about yeah. that, right? Like, who who do you like? Like, I mean, who are you I, looking forward to seeing? Christopher you know? Lee in a room, I would have died <laughs> if I got to meet him. Because I, I am. I mean, I think everybody is. Even though we're actors, there's people that we like ourselves. Of course. You know? <laughs> so... Yeah. I talk about my fellow fans we because we do a lot of conventions and stuff, and I say, I think sometimes some fans forget you're just people right. who happen to be in a particular mm -hmm. profession. Right. Right? Exactly. <laughs> but I, I really do love hearing fan stories yeah. from, from guests. Oh, there's so. so many. There's so <laughs> many. I'm sure you hear them all the time. They're, and they're great. Yeah. <laughs> so, Erica, any last words for the fans out there that you would like to share with us before um, we go? I would just 
say thank you so much for coming. Um, you guys are the reason why we do all of this, so we'll keep coming if you keep coming. Thank you, thank you for everything. Fantastic. Erica, thank you so much for a few oh, minutes of your time. You. It was so really nice to meet you. To meet you. Uh, I wish you much success thank in you. whatever you have in the future. Thank you so uh, much. Erica Anderson, everybody here at the first ever Catastrophic Con. I'm Todd Sturridge, the Horror Nerd, signing off, and we will see all of you in the next interview. Thank you.